Okay, so now that we had all of that amazing information about the science and history of the technology, let's go ahead and have some questions answered. The first question is, how does the AO scan find its target? Every living thing has a signature bioenergetic frequency blueprint. And just like no two people have the same fingerprint, no two people have the same bioenergetic frequency algorithm blueprint, as you can see in the bottom left picture of the DNA strand with the depicted algorithm in the middle of it. Just like a cell phone broadcasts radio frequencies to a cell tower, then a mobile switching center or MSC, and lastly, the MSC broadcasts these radio frequencies to the device with the unique cell number as the recipient, so too, once the profile information is created, the AO scan technology broadcasts frequencies through Solex's patented processor to the recipient with the unique bioenergetic algorithm. Thanks to the modern cloud and advancement of mobile technology, Solex is primed to bring the AO scan to every home in an affordable and accessible manner. And to explain this in a little bit more detail, I have expert Katarina Jones, who's been working with frequencies for over a decade and would like to uh, talk to, a little, uh, to us a little bit more about this. Thank you, Temna. Um, yes, I really love this technology. And um, one of the questions I get a lot is, how does this know it's me? And it's interesting because you read the reports and it's like, wow, that is definitely me. But how does it know it's me? Um, so it's interesting when you have highlighted the DNA strand, this DNA strand is key. And that's why one of the main points that we put in the scanner is the date of birth back to the day that you were born. Because once that cord was cut, separating you from your mother, then you now have your own bioenergetic frequency blueprint. Okay, that's like a fingerprint, that DNA strand, nobody else has that. And it's interesting because we use the different points of contact because, or information like facial recognition, we use the you know shape of the eyes, the face, all of those things, plus the different information, we give it way more information we need to find you. You actually only need three points to triangulate your individual bioenergetic signature. Um, it's interesting because I sometimes use the analogy of a song when you hear the dun, 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 you know what song it is. There's no other song like that. You know what it is. So imagine you're born and all of a sudden on the scene comes dun, 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 and then five years later or 10 years later, there's a dun, 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 dun. And then, oh, in history, we also can find, you know, here she is again, popping up, dun, 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 dun. That's your personal tone. So everything in that DNA strand is emitting a vibrational frequency that is giving you your own personal symphony, so to speak. And so that's able to be captured and uh, in the frequency line and it can be found anywhere. NASA did a really neat study where um, they had cells that divided and they took the original cells and left them in the Petri dish on earth and sent the other cells up into space. And when they did test on the cells here on earth, they were able to read the readings on the one in space which was incredible. That's called quantum entanglement. Um, there, it, it wraps around, there is no length that you are not entangled. Once that symphony is found, it's found. Um, granted, we're not going out to space, so it's much easier. I'm grateful that the technology um, that we've used throughout generations is able to be brought to you and I individually on an affordable basis. I love it. I do too. And thank you so much for that explanation. That was absolutely perfect and enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good one.